time for some unlucky bastard to get the popular girl and remind you this won't happen in real life. Here are 10 romance anime where popular girl falls for the unpopular boy. Let's go! Ten, girls Beyond the Wasteland. This anime is about a guy who has no purpose in life until he finds a bunch of girls. But the one to recruit him to the team is the popular girl. Okay, let me back up and explain. Here we have Bantaro Hoho, a good writer who has no plans in his life. But along comes the popular girl of the school who asks him on a date. Soon he realized it isn't a date, but a job interview regarding the development of a bishoujo game. Will our main character join the team? Is he that desperate to find a girl? Yeah, so he goes on and joins the team. This is an anime very similar to Seikano, but instead the unpopular boy making the unpopular girl join the team. Here we have the popular girl making the unpopular boy join the team. 9. Neon Koi you know how there's an animal associated with every anime? Chainsaw Man has dogs, Attack on Titan has birds, and in this anime, we have cats. And the writer decided to take one step further and give our main character the ability to talk to cat. <laughs> Neon Koi shows the unlucky side of being associated with cats. Our main character, Junpei, breaks the statue of a cat, and now as punishment for his terrible, terrible sin, he needs to do a hundred good deeds in order for a curse placed on him to be lifted. What's worse is that if he tells anyone about the curse, then that person will also turn into a cat. Now how is he going to hide this from his crush and the most popular girl in the school? Watch the anime to find out. Just remember not to go breaking cat statues hoping to get turned into a cat. This doesn't work in real life. 8. Bottom tier character Tomozaki Time for the loner who keeps playing games to meet the popular girl who also plays games. Yeah, that's right, both of them play games, but the girl is popular and the guy is more antisocial than, uh, I don't know. Who's the most antisocial anime character that you can think of? Tomozaki-kun is an anime about a gamer called Tomozaki-kun, duh, and a girl who plays the same game as him but decides to teach him some social manners. As I said, what I liked about this show is the character development the main character receives. It is handled in a very unique fashion to show how much self-improvement is important in modern society. Now remember kids, this was based on a light novel, and the anime only adapts a fraction of the light novel. So if you want to see who this guy ends up with, then you'll have to go read the light novel. 7. Love Flop in most cases, guys had only one popular girl rooting for them, but here we have five popular girls rooting for the guy. That's right, the author thought one wasn't enough and decided to multiply that number by five. Meet Asaj Kashiwani, a guy who is living a pretty average high school life just like the rest of the anime characters. But one day, he finds the predictions of a fortune teller coming true when he gets confessed by five girls. Yes, yes, I hear you groaning right now. You'll be listening to the premise and then thinking, wait, another rom-com anime where a bunch of girls fall for a guy? Well, that's partly true, but the main trailer promised us something different. So let's hope this can deconstruct the usual tropes rather than following them. It's getting released this season, so get ready for some weekly love flops as well. 6. Amagami SS Nini 
No, no, don't skip this one. Just because you see a bunch of girls in the main poster does not mean this is a one guy too many girls anime. Why am I saying this? Here we have the main character of the series dating a different girl in each arc, so it is a win-win situation for everyone. <laughs> Our main character here is Junichi Tachibana, a guy who got stood up during a date on Christmas and has been hiding his feelings ever since. But things start to change when he meets several girls who are interested in him. The anime is divided up into arcs, and each arc follows what happens to our guy if he starts dating one of the girls. <laughs> Yeah, you guessed it right, this is based on a visual novel, so instead of jumbling all routes into one storyline, the producers decided to follow the smart route and do one arc per each girl. 5. Cupid's Chocolates Once again, this involves our good old antisocial, not very good looking, high school teenager getting confessed to by a bunch of beautiful girls for some reason. Now he wants to find why he is suddenly the most popular kid in school. Oh, and the worst thing is, the main character doesn't even know any of the girls who confess to him. Clearly the logic of the premise flies out the window the moment you start to read it, but if you want some less serious romance anime where the unpopular boy gets more than what he asked for, then this might be perfect for you. This is also one of those Chinese anime that has clearly taken inspiration from a lot of Japanese high school anime, so you might notice some similar tropes repeating over and over again. 4. Shikimori is not just a cutie. Time for the overprotective girlfriend. No, I'm not even kidding. Look at her expression. Released right after the infamous My Dress Up Darling, this anime is also about a popular girl falling in love with a wimpy main character. You know what? Let me explain the premise better. We've got a girl named Shikimori, who looks like the perfect girlfriend anyone can have, but turns out she has a really dark side once you press the wrong buttons. But guess what? Her boyfriend loves it. Either this guy's a masochist, or Shikimori is way too cute to be considered a psychopath. <gasps> If you need a deconstruction of that perfect girlfriend trope, then this is the show for you. 3. White Album Don't confuse this anime with White Album 2, because that's a completely different anime. Here we meet the calm and collected Toya Fuji, your average Joe who needs to have a peaceful life. Then we've got his girlfriend, Yuki Morikawa, a girl who's struggling to be an idol and still wants to find ways to spend time with Toya. The main story is about how these two try to maintain their relationship despite one being a popular idol and the other being a typical nobody. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not all. Along the way we meet a rival, a couple more idols, a jealous girl who wants to bring down the career of our main girl, and a couple of other wholesome characters. What's really great about this show is how the couple is already dating, and instead of some cheesy high school drama, we get to see how two people desperately try to maintain their relationship. I mean, come on. What would you do if your girlfriend became the most popular girl in the country? 2. A Town Where You Live <laughs> Alright guys, it's time to go back to the new girl versus childhood friend sort of dramas because we've been missing one of those in this list. A Town Where You Live follows the couple of Haruto Kirishima and Yuzuki Iba. Haruto makes a childhood promise to Yuzuki to help her whenever she needs it, but years later, Yuzuki comes to Haruto's hometown and instead helps him get his crush. But soon Haruto falls for Yuzuki. Yes, that's right, it's time we brought Sherlock Holmes to solve this love triangle. <laughs> As you guessed, the main plot point that drives the show forward is the love triangle. The show also heavily uses drama, so if you want some drama romance anime, then this show is for you. 1. Tada Never Falls in Love <laughs> 
このままほっとけないだろう And number one in our list is Tara never falls in love. But turns out Tara does fall in love. And he falls in love with a princess. Lucky guy. So, what's this anime about? Itsuyoshi Tara one day assists a lost foreigner named Teresa, and they soon realize they visit the same school. Tara is also a good photographer and has some painful past memories. The anime follows his relationships with his friends and how he and Teresa get together as a couple. <laughs> Imagine my surprise when I realized this was an original anime. Most of the time, good love stories come from anime based on manga or light novels, but despite being an anime original show, this still has one of the best romances I've seen. Now, the chemistry of the two is an entirely subjective opinion, but I feel like they match perfectly. If you want a love story between a princess and a photographer, then start watching this anime and become a photographer who helps random women in the street. 